What's up YouTube? This is Lizard821 here, and today I'm going to show you how to enable high DPI or retina modes in Mac OS X Lion. Now while Apple doesn't make retina displays for Mac desktops and laptops, there's a cool way to play around with some retina display modes in Lion. Now this is by no means something that you should use on a day to day basis since windows show up on your Mac in two times the normal size since they are meant to show up on a retina display. Later on in this video I will show you what it looks like on my iMac. So first in order to enable high DPI modes you of course need to be on Mac OS X line and you need to download Xcode from the Mac App Store. Now Xcode is a free app but it is a 1.68 gigabyte download so if you have a slow network connection this will take a while to download. Not only that, but that file size is just for the Xcode installer itself. The entire Xcode package will use 10 gigs of disk space when installed on your drive. Moving onward, once Xcode has been installed on your Mac, open up a new finder window. Then navigate to your Macintosh HD and open that up. Inside you should see the developer folder. Open that up and double click on applications, then on graphics tools. Inside, open up Quartz Debug. When it first opens up, it looks like a sort of HUD type window, but what you need to do is go up to Window in the menu bar, and then click on UI Resolution or press Command 2. Once you do so, a window should come up that looks like this. Go ahead and check the box that says Enable High DPI Display Modes. Once you do so, you will have to log out, then log back in again, and I will come back to you guys when this is complete. So once you have logged back in again, open up System Preferences, then navigate to the Displays pane. And there you will see the new high DPI display modes in the display category. Now I will have to restart the recording because I am actually changing the display resolution. So once you have changed the resolution, you will see what I was talking about before. Windows look nice and retina like, but they are gigantic. For example, my dock and menu bar are completely oversized, but text looks nice on Mac OS X native applications. However, when you open up an application such as Photoshop, you can see that this is not a good solution for editing photos since the display is so large. Or even apps like iCow, it looks sort of pixelated, however full screen mode still looks nice. But simple windows take up the entire screen such as the application stack. Now it is hard to see what I'm talking about through ScreenFlow, so I will throw up a few screenshots for you guys comparing the original to the high DPI modes. This way you can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.